tonight, Chinese authorities are clamping down, out in force in major cities where some streets are now walled up. Police even searching phones for images or messaging apps that might connect people to the demonstrations. Some universities now sending students home. The remarkable scenes of protest against China's stifling zero COVID rules. Inspiring acts of defiance to knock down barriers and end lockdowns that in some places have dragged on for months. In his own way, Chung is protesting too. He's leaving China, fed up with losing freedom, income and time to zero COVID. I'm deeply attached to the country, but I don't recognize myself in the country anymore. The rarity of protests here capturing the world's attention, even as they appear to grow smaller and more dispersed. There's concern, too, that wide-scale unrest, along with snap lockdowns here, pose another setback for the global economy. Supply chains already affected by months of economic pain, with youth unemployment at a record 20 percent. China's harsh zero-tolerance approach to COVID has failed to prevent a big jump in cases, stoking a national anger that is the boldest challenge yet to the leadership of Xi Jinping. It isn't clear if the moment for protesters will last. The security apparatus here is massive. Surveillance networks are sprawling. And the government has little tolerance for discontent. Janice Mackey Freyer, NBC News, Beijing. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.